One of the things I promised myself for this year was I'd get out a little more and go and find some other tackle makers to film. Luckily I live in one of the few cities in the UK where you can still get a fishing rod made. A little way down the River Mersey from Liverpool city centre, Harrison Advanced Rods at the small factory. This isn't a place that churns out fishing rods, they tend to concentrate on creating little pieces of magic out of some very high-tech carbon fibre. Steve Harrison, the founder and managing director, agreed to let me come down for a few days and annoy his team with a camera and also get an interview. I was tying my first rods when I probably was about 11 year old because we had a family tackle shop and I, I was just always inquisitive and eventually started doing the repairs when I probably was about 13. As I say, I made fishing rods, quite enjoyed it. People were keen to buy them. And I was getting frustrated that the blanks I wanted, I couldn't get. Um, and carbon fibre had just come out and the whole ball game was changing. And I saw that there was potential to do something different, something unique. I, and I thought there was some profit in it as well. So uh, taking everything together, uh, I decided to stick my neck out and, um, and start making blanks. I was making uh, experimental blanks until I finally got to the point where I felt I could make something better than what was out there and the next step was to borrow hugely and start what we've got here today. I can't believe I did it. Um, it was incredibly hard and not only did we do it, we did it quite quickly because I had to. As I say, I borrowed everything I could borrow against the house and um, I'd got no other income. And, you know, really it had to work and work quickly. I had one employee, Andy, who's still with me. And I, th I think the secret is not to go home and sleep until you've done what you said you were going to do. Before I actually took the plunge, I told a few people in the industry what I was going to do. And to be frank, they laughed, you know, not to my face, but I, I knew behind my back they were laughing. Um, but I'm a technical guy. I've, I've got a degree and a PhD uh, in, in, in a technical subject and I know how to do research. And um, I also know how not to fool myself. And I knew by the time we were ready to start, we had, I'd say, 90% of the answers. Um, Obviously another leap, actually scaling it up from an experiment in, in, in a bedroom to the actual production of full length blanks that was going to be the hard part. And um, yes, it, it was difficult, but the response I got from people who had been in the trade a long time was scepticism. From people who didn't know the background, they were open-minded and I was very quickly selling product into um, dealers up and down the country. I do believe that every step is done with a degree of passion and care because it's all I ever wanted to do. Uh, I'm, this is, I often say it's a hobby that got out of control, it is, it's a passion. Uh, I do it principally because I enjoy doing what we do. Everything goes out with my name on it and I just want it to be the best it can be. So uh, the fact that I've got I'm surrounded by people that see my passion, they're all anglers and they've joined the team knowing that what's expected of them is the same level of commitment. And it's, it's at every step, but it starts with brilliant raw materials. Somewhere along the line, it's good design and uh, a committed workforce. The 
the product is, is the most rewarding thing. Um, I think that we've now got to a point where in car prods we are one of only three brands that stand out as being superior to everything else and I would say that within that group of three our market share is growing nicely um, and that's all done because we're not the best at marketing by any shadow um, but we are, um, are growing by word of mouth recommendation people who buy our rods like them and tell their friends um, and it's the product itself that's the reward really. If I retired, what would I want to do? I'd, I'd probably go home and start making something in my garage. So I've got this great set of tools, set of people, the ability to make a really good product that people like buying. So I'm going to stick at it for the foreseeable future as long as my health holds out. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to share and like or leave a comment below. For more handmade fisherman videos, follow the link to my channel or subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.